My name is Joan Tuze. Uh, I'm on the board of directors at the Apache Software Foundation. Uh, I came into Apache uh, through the Apache CouchDB project. How many people have heard of CouchDB? Okay, not so many. That's fine. Uh, about 10 years ago uh, was my first time to work with Apache CouchDB. I was working on a PhD and I needed a database for the uh, student information I was working on. And uh, somebody said, hey, check this out. It's cool. And I found it and thought it was really cool. Started working. Um, I don't like slides. <laughs> so I don't have any slides for today because this talk is about how to get all of you involved. And I, I want to start with just our website and show how would you find the information for you to get started. So how many people here have used some Apache Software Foundation program? Okay, almost everybody knows they have used one, okay? Have you downloaded it, compiled it yourself? Okay, uh, maybe about 30%, okay? How about, have you submitted a patch? Okay, just, just the people in the front row. Okay, okay, so not so many. How about, how many people have done uh, documentation or help somebody on a mailing list or something like this. Just in the front row again. Oh, one person. Good, good. Uh, two. Fantastic. Well, this is why we're here today. I want to make sure that you have the information you need to be able to contribute to any of our projects. And the most important thing for me to state is that contributing does not mean you wrote code. It means you are involved with the project in some way that improve the overall project. So you could be helping somebody on the mailing list or on Slack or IRC chat. It could mean that you drew a, a new icon or logo. It could be that you wrote documentation. Maybe you are a, a project manager. How many people here are project managers? <laughs> okay, good. That's my specialty. I'm project manager. Uh, but I came from code. <laughs> um, or translation, localization, right? All of these things are possible, and I want to make sure that you know how to get through our website to get it, because as some people said, it looks a little off. So let's, let me help you figure out where to go. So this is just apache.org. There is nothing special here, okay? It's just apache.org. And where I want you to go, if you're going to open this yourself, is we go to community and go to community development. Okay, that's this middle link, the first one there, community development. And this is our community website. Now, this is built by the community. Sharon here, who's going to speak later, is very involved in the community stuff. I don't want to steal too much of her thunder. Um, but this is our very simple website that explains how to get involved. So, um, and this is, this looks a little different. Let's go to the home page here. Here we go. All right. So this is the community website. And notice there's a whole section for new to Apache. So this is where I would recommend you go. There is a section called newcomers section right here. And this will explain the basic concepts. If I can get it to open. Okay, here we go. Um, about uh, the foundation. Many of these th things are things you've heard about already today from other speakers. Okay, where do I start? How should I behave? What can I work on? How can I find a mentor? All of these links are live and we'll give you that detailed information. I'm not going to dig to them, dig into them in detail. And we also have first contribution section, which we're starting to build out. So this is, this is great. I'm going to go back. So down here, to get to our software, see our categorized listing of all projects. So we're going to go there. And this is going to take about 30 seconds to load. Uh, how many people know how many projects there are at Apache? Raise your hand if you think it's 100, 200, 300. 400, 500, more than 500. Okay. <laughs> well, the answer is, if I go to 350, 
more than 350 projects. So most of you are pretty close. 203 committees, 334 projects. We have five special committees are infrastructure, travel assistance, security, and 40 pod links. Now these are new projects. And Merle's going to talk a little bit about what that is. How do you get a new project into Apache? And how do you become an official Apache project, what we call a top-level project, a TLP? And here's the graph. You can see how we've done over time. So let's pick a project that people are interested in. So what's a project that you know about that, you have, that somebody here has used, since I saw all of you raise your hands, I was going to describe how to start using a project, but I think all of you know how to do it. So let's talk about one that somebody wants to get involved in. Anyone. Do you... Beam? Beam. Apache Beam. Okay. So let's scroll down here to Apache Beam. There it is. Okay, so Apache Beam is a unified programming model for batch and streaming data processing. Fantastic. It's in our big data category. It shows you the website for it. It shows you it's an active project. This is good. Java and Python. It also shows you the bug tracker. This is very important. Now they, they're using Sura. At Apache, we have two, uh, three ways to track bugs. We, some old projects still use Bugzilla. Many projects use Jira. And also GitHub issues. So those are your three choices. And I assume everybody here has at least seen one of those, yes? OK. Uh, and then the mailing list. Now, as Sam mentioned, officially at Apache, everything has to happen on a mailing list. That doesn't mean that's the only place. But it means that when a decision has to be made, we make it on the mailing list. But this is really important because it provides an archive list that you can go back and review. It is accessible. You can use a translation program on it if your English is not so good or my Spanish is not so good. Officially, all of those decisions are made in English, but we do have mailing lists in other languages, German, we talked about Chinese, we have a lot of new projects in China now. Um, but these mailing lists are primarily in English and the decision-making is always in English, so, but it's a mailing list, so you have time. And then finally, the release, where to download the code, right? So let's take a look. Let's look at the website. Now, I'm pretty sure, Beam, this website does not look old to me. <laughs> this looks pretty good, right? So here you go. Learn more. Try it. Download it. Quick start. They have a blog with blog posts. And let's see. I want to contribute. I'm going to go to their contribute link. Now, I've never done this before. I've never been to the Beam website. This is my first time. So let's see. What is their advice on how to contribute? OK, we, we welcome contributions from anyone. This is good. This is true. If you have questions, you can ask us. You can come to our mailing list. We have documentation, bug reports, testing, review changes, write examples, coding, and answers to our fact. This is a great one. So how I got started with CouchDB was I was using it for my research, my doctor research. And I said, well, I, I'm having trouble bulk loading documents into CouchDB. And somebody showed me that it was, there was a special endpoint for bulk loading that was faster than doing them at the time. And so I wrote up an answer about how to do this. It wasn't in the documentation. And I added it to a fact. So this is a great way to get involved, to give back the knowledge that you've learned about code. And then they show how to contribute to code down here. So you can, you need GitHub. You need a Java, maybe Docker, Go, etc. And look, they also have Slack channel. You can get involved. So let's try that. It's blocked on your computer. Well, that's not going to help. That's no good. All right. Well, we won't do that. Then no Slack. The website that you you can't get to it at all. Oh, that's lovely. All right. Well, anyway, I was going to say hi from CCOSS <laughs> to the Slack channel, but I guess that won't happen. Uh, but let's take a look at the mailing lists. So we have a, our own website for our mailing lists, Pony Mail. This is also a project that you can join. So if you like working with mailing list software, this is a lovely new program uh, that we've built. And here we go. Here's all the things. 
How do you write a portable runner pipeline? How do I get uh, contribute to structured streaming Spark Runner? I want help. And look, somebody helped them out. This is great. Um, let's take a look at that. So if you want details, here's the presentation I did at ApacheCon on Structured. And uh, they're missing multiple aggregations in streaming mode in Spark, so they want help with that. So this is great. This is exactly the sort of thing that you can get into for any project you want to get into. Let me show you some more resources. We have a translation website. This is just translate.apache.org. And any project can register here to say, we want localization of our documentation, website, etc. And you can just jump in and pick a language you want to work on and start translating it. So this is pretty cool. Uh, and you don't have to set up special tooling or anything. The project loads their content into here, and then it can be translated by anybody. You don't need technical background to build the documentation this way. So that's... Um, let's see what else. Let's look at the bug track. So here we go. Here's standard bug tracking. Let's see if there's a way to filter by... Okay, this one isn't a good example. I'm going to go to the CouchDB one, so I'm just going to put the microphone down for a second. Okay, so I just happen to know that the CouchDB one is on GitHub, so we're going to do that. Going to scroll down here. And we have a label for beginner friendly. So if you want to work on an issue, there are currently 17 open issues, all of which are beginner friendly fixes on CouchDB, which is a complex, you know, uh, clustered database, right? Distributed system. These are very complex systems. But that doesn't mean that we don't have some simple things like here, here's one. We have a strange error message. Thank you. If uh, you, you put in the wrong username. We can, we can make that better. Uh, it's not auto starting and log in on Mac OS. OK, easy fix, right? So many projects use these beginner friendly tags or help wanted tags to show you a place where you can start helping. And not all of this is very technical. Let's pick another project. What's uh, another project someone is interested in? Finnerac. OK, I'm going to put Merle on the spot here. Go back to that project list. Uh-oh. OK, I see. That's by category. So we'll go by name. Let's find Finneract. Here we go. OK, so there it is, Platform for Digital Financial Services. There's the website. We go to the website. Another good place to look, Wikipedia. Almost every, I think every project has a top-level Wikipedia page now, so that's good. So here we go. How many people here know about Cineract? Two people. Merle, you want to give a 30-second introduction? Apache Cineract is a set of uh, code various um, pieces that you can use to build a microfinance institution. The idea is there are 2 billion people who don't have bank accounts. That's partly because software is expensive, and we're trying to lower that cost. That's fantastic. Uh, and uh, my, my, uh, microtransactions uh, was the focus of a peace prize, right? A number of years ago, didn't Microcredit was, that's right. Um, and, and there are a number of projects at the Apache Software Foundation that have been involved in uh, developing nation support. Uh, Couch TV is used uh, by eHealth Africa to contain the Ebola virus outbreak. So they have CouchDB, uh, a central server. They use PouchDB on their phones, and they synchronize this as a way to track information about who was exposed and keep families together. It, 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 when I learned that they were using our software, it was a very, very warm feeling in my heart to know that it was helping uh, with social issues as well. So here we go. Uh, a platform for financial services can be deployed anywhere. How to contribute right here. See, they want contribution. They put it right on their front page. We want, 
we especially welcome additions and corrections to the documentation, to wiki and website. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say is there's no magic like at Apache. There's no somebody, there's not somebody who comes in with a magic wand and says, now, now you can contribute to us, right? <laughs> Just do it. We want your help. And you will find that every project is super excited to get that support from you. Now, what's, the, what's in it for you? Well, maybe you're trying to build a resume and show people that you know how to work on software. This is a great way of doing it. Maybe you are uh, trying to build a company based upon one of these software packages. That's fine too. And the better you learn it, the better you're going to be able to, to, get, to get what you need. You may be able to put functionality into the program that will help you with your, your, uh, your company ideas as well. Okay. Uh, maybe you're trying to build something on top of one of these things, something like the Apache Web Surfer or um, many of our Java libraries are not really full, full package software like Finrack. They're you know, small components, and they will help you integrate those things together. So it looks like I have about five minutes left. Uh, but as always, I hope your, t your main takeaways from this talk are there is always a mailing list, and you can go there. There is usually a chat as well, Slack, IRC, something like this. You can go there. Uh, and there is almost always a way to contribute documentation, wiki, training information, translation that does not require being a software developer. We just had somebody new come to CouchDB who is a project manager and she is helping manage our issues. And it's so great <laughs> it's for me to not have to do all of that work myself. <laughs> so um, with that, I'm going to leave it open for questions. Oh, yeah, so here you are, Jira Confluence getting started. Contributor zone. Yes, Fernand. Uh, it's uh, well, the first part uh, to contribute, I think, before this is uh, to have some knowledge of the product. Yes. And uh, maybe that part uh, we're I, I personally missing in this in this one. Right. So to to learn the program, right? So first. If you, first, the first challenge is to find which program, because we have 350. So let's assume you found the one you're interested in. After that, then the next best thing to do is to join one of two places. You'll see this one, they have only one mailing list dev. Some projects have a user list, so you can join the user list. The other place is to go to the Slack or IRC and ask questions on chat. Uh, for me, that was my en entrance to CouchDB 10 years ago was through the chat. And they were very friendly and very excited. Not so many people there all the time, but eventually somebody answered my question and was able to help. So I think you'll find that users helping other users is extremely common. And that's, how pe that's the opening door to get into other things. So don't be afraid to ask and sometimes you can try asking them in, in Spanish and maybe somebody will answer you in Spanish. But if not, maybe use both English and Spanish in your email. Go for More questions? Yes. I saw that there is a mentorship. So I'm guessing it is to introduce you to the project. But is there something else about the mentorship that you have for beginners or Okay. So what it is basically what it is focused on that mentorship. Right. Oh, mentor or I saw it on the first. Uh, yes, on mentoring. Yes. So we'll yeah. go back here. Uh, I'll go back a couple pages. Let's see. Fact had a mentorship as well. No, no, it was on the first. Uh, okay, just a second. It was probably on the community site, right? Yeah, yeah. Mentoring for projects, right? Yeah, yeah okay. So this is mentoring for projects. So um, when, when new projects join Apache, you're going to hear more about this in another presentation later. Um, but there are many things you have to do right. So you have to have the license right. You have to uh, have votes correctly. You have to have releases that are done in a certain way. All of these things have many, many projects that have come before you. So the mentoring will help you get that right for your project. 
Yes, but there are, there is mentoring for individuals here, right? And a lot of that comes through. You can see GSOC, Google Summer of Code. How many people know Google Summer of Code? This is a great project for students to get involved in Apache projects. And there's a, a whole contributor and committer uh, workflow around that. And Sharon can speak more towards that later, I think. No, maybe? <laughs> uh, but yes, many projects have mentor, uh, mentoring relationship already established. Some projects don't. The best thing to do is ask. So go to the user list or go to the Slack and say, I'm looking for a mentor to help me with this topic. Make it something specific. And okay. then... So basically, not only for introducing it to, the, uh, to helping around the project, it right. can be also about... If it Correct. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Right. So it depends on your role. Sometimes it's mentorship for development. Sometimes it's mentorship for usage. Sometimes it's mentorship for management, project management. All of these things are very... Okay, thank you. We have one more question. So, ensuring quality for a project or a code is challenging. And how is that in an open source project? About the, the quality. The quality, right. So, um, there are two models at Apache. One is review, then commit. And the other is commit, then review. So, how many people here know what a pull request is on GitHub? Oh, just about everybody. Okay. Pull request is review, then commit. We look at the code. Okay, it's good. Then we commit it. Some Apache projects are commit, then review, which means we trust you to commit code only that's good. So they will commit it, and then people look at the commitment and see if it's good. I would say that more increasingly, people are moving to the pull request model. So review, then commit. And I think that you will find that even if you're not a committer, like you can't press the commit button, somebody else has to press the commit button. But if you contribute that code, there are people who are very interested in the quality of the code and will help review it. But it is a challenge because for those of us who are committers on a project, it's extra work for us to do our own work plus to review somebody else's work. So that's why as projects, we are incented, incentivized, uh, supported to have more and more contributors and more and more committers because the more committers there are the more people there are to review the code and to ensure better quality some projects have very strict rules about writing tests other projects are more open and free about it it really it, apache is a very decentralized organization so of those 350 projects there's you're going to see every possible way so I can't answer your question specifically without knowing which product. <laughs> Is that it? One more question. Time for one more. Does everyone feel confident that they know how to get involved now? If you don't, now is your chance to ask a question. Okay. Find the project website. Go through here. Look at our new newcomers pages. Okay, and then go to the mailing list or go to chat and ask a question and get involved. And then from there, you are user, you'll become a contributor immediately. As soon as you ask your first question, you're a contributor. And then maybe you will get a committer stat. Yes. Is, well, is there any, uh, any, uh, what, is there any code uh, that focus in 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 physical device like uh, Rust, bueno, like uh, robot, uh, yes. I yes, absolutely. So we have a number of projects on IoT. We have a new mailing list for IoT. And uh, PLC4X is a brand new top-level project that does industrial control. Uh, uh, PL you've heard of PLC? No? Okay, so it's a, it's... It's attempting to make a uniform interface to different PLC providers. So w there are a lot of IoT projects out there. Uh, I know CouchDB is, does some IoT stuff with CouchDB. So uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, and if you're looking for the projects, then you can find them. We should add that, though, as a tag to, the, uh, to this page, the projects page. Probably needs an IoT tag. I don't think we have an IoT tag yet. Let's see. Yeah, category, right? IoT, so there you go. Camel, Ignite, PLC4X. 
have said they are IoT, and I know there are more, but these are these three for sure. Which one? My new and IoT DB is an incubating project. IoT DB incubator project, so they're not on this list yet, but they're coming. All right, I think. Do we have time for one more? One question, or yeah, go ahead. Well, it's a general question, not exactly for this talk, sure. but uh, I was curious from the previous question and the, how do you see the future of the Apache Foundation? I, I know it's self-organized, it has mm. their own projects are created by the communities, but as a board, or what, what's the direction that is going to, or what are there any priorities for the upcoming future, a couple of years? More? I, I think we're, it's going to be more of the same. We're going to see more new projects. We're going to see some projects retire. That's okay. Technologies grow and fade, right? Um, we're going to see more people join each of these projects. We're going to see um, an increase in the members that we have, I think. We're going to see, uh, I don't know, what's our current growth rate? It's about like one new top-level project every month or two. Yeah, 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 right? Um, seven in the last year, right? So in two to three years, we may be... 15, 20, 30 projects, yeah. So. I, I'm going to be a little tricky. This is the future of the ASF, right? Growth by reaching more people. We don't go looking for projects. We provide services and stuff like that and a place for the project to live. So we have to, we just want to grow our community. That's what's important to us. So all my friends here, who are in, uh, in, in the pictures and everything. That's the future of the AS. Thank you, everybody.